Good morning, everybody. Upping the ante in his clash with Wall Street, President Barack Obama is proposing new rules to prevent too big to fail. He's asking Congress to cap the size of the nation's biggest commercial banks and make them leave risky investing to brokerage houses and other entities. We cannot accept a system in which shareholders make money on these operations if the bank wins, but taxpayers foot the bill if the bank loses. The move would target the top banks at the heart of the financial meltdown and bailout, Citigroup, Bank of America, and Goldman Sachs. Before it really does anything to banks other than change their stock prices today, it has to get past Congress and the Senate. Uh, whether that will happen is not clear. But if there's a lesson the White House draws from Tuesday's GOP upset in the Massachusetts Senate race, it's that voters are angry and lots of the ires aimed at a bailed out Wall Street again paying huge bonuses. If these folks want a fight, it's a fight I'm ready to have. And my resolve is only strengthened when I see a return to old practices and some of the very firms fighting reform. Administration officials say tightening the rules on big banks was always going to play a major role in the president's second year agenda. But given the anger expressed by voters in Massachusetts, strategists here reckon having Obama take more swings at Wall Street is an idea whose political time has come. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, The White House.